Cholesterol is a fat-like substance that's found in everybody, and there are many varieties of cholesterol. The two that you hear the most about are what we generally refer to as the good and bad cholesterol. Now, the bad cholesterol is actually low-density lipoprotein, oftentimes referred to as LDL. The good cholesterol is high-density lipoprotein, also usually called HDL. The reason why these two are the most common known is because they both play a very significant role in cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease includes both heart attacks as well as strokes. We've known for many years through many studies that individuals that have high levels of bad cholesterol also tend to have higher rates of heart attacks or strokes, or what we know as cardiovascular disease. The main way that we treat cholesterol, the bad form of it, is through medications. The most common family of medicines that we use to treat this are called the statin family of medicines. These include simvastatin, atorvastatin, as well as rosuvastatin. The newest family of medicines that we use to treat bad cholesterol are a family called PCSK9 inhibitors. Now, outside of the medicines, there are other natural holistic ways that you also can improve your cholesterol profile. Predominant among these are the selection of the meats that you consume. The bad meats are the red meats. That's gonna include our beef, our steak. These are known to be high in saturated fats, which are also called the bad fats, which elevate the bad cholesterol levels. Instead, we would like you to switch over to the good meats, which include chicken, turkey, as well as many fish varieties, which are very good in the good fats are unsaturated fats and tend to lower the bad cholesterol levels while bumping up our good cholesterol profile. Outside of the meat selections, you also can increase the amount of whole grain that you consume in your diet, as well as certain nuts and fruits and vegetables. All of these will improve your overall cholesterol profile. The most important thing is that you just take steps to improve your overall health. You don't have to do everything that I've mentioned here. You can just pick pieces of this and incorporate it into your lifestyle. Say for example, you eat red meat every day. We know that that's not the healthiest lifestyle you could have. However, you're willing to cut back on that. So instead, just start with once a week or twice a week. Instead, you eat a chicken, turkey, or a fish substitute instead of the red meat. Every one to two weeks, think about something else you can change for yourself in order to make you a healthier and better you.